It's going to be a short video. One thing we talked about in the past on um, on this channel is how shitty the WBA rankings are in the IBF, you know, in um, in um, multiple divisions. But when it comes to Danny Jacobs, the WBA world champion, remember the WBA super world champion, the belt that, 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 that fans look at as the number one belt for the WBA is um, Gennady Gennadyevich Golovkin. Danny Jacobs has that secondary belt. So for the new people who don't understand, the WBA has two belts. For example, when Floyd Mayweather was still fighting, Floyd Mayweather was a WBA Super Bowl champion at 147 pounds, while Keith Thurman was a WBA World. Ares Landy Laurel was the WBA Super Bowl champion at um, 100 and... Um, no, at, no, he was the WBA world champion at 154 pounds, while Floyd Mayweather was the WBA super world champion at 154 pounds. So right now, Golovkin is the WBA super world champion at 160 pounds. Danny Jacobs, the WBA world. Now, Danny Jacobs hasn't fought a mandatory since he's had the belt, but if you look at Golovkin, he hasn't either. That's just the WBA. The WBA's rules are fucked up. For example, go look up, go look up, the um, definition of the WBA Super World title and what it was intended for. The WBA Super World title was invented to be um, not, not a champion above champions, but basically to give an undisputed or a unified champion time to fight mandatory. But now they just use it as just, you know, go look it up. You'll see what I mean. They just use it as just another title. And of course, it's for sanctioning fees. But real quick, let's go through the WBA rankings. These are up to date. Number one, interim champion, Alfonso Blanco. Remember, at one point in the time, the WBA had two interim champions in Blanco and uh, Chris Eubank Jr. Chris Eubank Jr. is the mandatory for, for um, Danny Jacobs. And Danny Jacobs is the mandatory for Golovkin. The WBA said that they would order Danny Jacobs versus Golovkin if Canelo versus Golovkin didn't happen. Well, they got word from my understanding that the uh, Danny Jacobs and Sergio Mora 2 fight was going to happen. And this whole video is basically asking you guys, do you really want to see, you know, Danny Jacobs versus Sergio Mora 2? Because it was supposed to be on the undercard of um, Santa Cruz versus Frampton, July the 30th of 2016, of course, on Showtime. But now it's being moved to another date for whatever reason. So let's go over the rankings. You got Alfonso Blanco, WBA interim, Chris Eubank Jr., Dimitri Chudinov, who Chris Eubank Jr. beat, Turiano Johnson, who's coming off of an injury, Rob Brandt, Andrew Hernandez, Peter Quillen, who's not fighting anymore in 2016, according to Steve Kim, Avantadil Kurtzies, he's that five foot four guy that uh, put a whooping on uh, Antoine Douglas, uh, Royoto Morata. Adam Eccles, John Ryder, Curtis Stevens, Gary O'Sullivan, Spike O'Sullivan, Sergio Moore, and Ivan Klinktoff. Now, of all those names, remember, if you're a champion, you got to fight somebody ranked in the top 15. And I'm asking, you know, do fans really want to see Sergio Moore too? Now, me personally, I think it's going to be a good fight. I was there live, and it was an exciting fight while it lasted. But remember, uh, Sergio Moore broke his ankle or had a very bad ankle sprain. I believe he broke his ankle and that's why the uh, fight was stopped early and it was being and, and it was given to um, Danny Jacobs after both guys had knocked each other down. But, you know, I'm thinking fans are kind of getting fed up with Danny Jacobs at this point in time. Yeah, he had that big win over Peter Quillen, but now they want to see him step up to 160 pound superstar status and now that we know that there's nothing stopping him from fighting on hbo it's like yo you got to get in line to fight golovkin he's got three belts and he's got the, the the parent belt of your belt he's got the daddy belt you got the you, you you got the mama belt so you know i mean he knows what it is he's a very rational and cool dude you know so it's just you know after sergio moore which has looked like it's going to happen after sergio moore he's got to fight golovkin you know and he's got to demand the fight or the wb has got to order it and make them put their money where their mouth is simple as that i'm t-street controversy this is t-street controversy live i cover every single major fight live please subscribe